The City of Buffalo's school speed zone camera program is now a very troubled footnote in City Hall history as it officially ended yesterday. Good evening everyone. I'm Scott Levin and I'm Mary Alice Demler. However, the legal consequences are far from over. The city is still a target of class action lawsuits for people who got those $50 tickets. In our top story, Channel 2's Ron Plants is seeking more answers and a direct response from City Hall. So more and more of these cameras, which provoked a lot of citizen ire, especially for anyone who got a summons in the mail, are being removed from city streets with this verdict from some. It's a failed program that was rolled out horribly. Still to be determined, though, if the city should be forced to refund more money to those accused of driving faster than 50 miles per hour in the designated school zones, now being lifted to 20 miles per hour with motorist safety concerns about rear end collisions. Some city council members who voted to end the program are on record saying refunds are necessary, even if the Brown administration won't go along. Again, it's about following the law, and we are lawmakers. So if the law says it should have been done and it wasn't, people should get their refunds, absolutely. And now a class action lawsuit, including an affidavit from a New York City-based attorney who got two tickets dismissed for her particular client. She says the city rebuffed her efforts to get details about the system, so she filed a formal freedom of information request to the city about system operator checks to make sure it was running properly with any daily log showing those checks. And then the city parking bureau's response that the cameras are just automated without any operator and that they had no information to answer her other questions. So when a hearing officer saw that, he dismissed the tickets with no charges, saying evidence shown by the city could not prove speeding because there was no operator, no notarized certificate for the system, and no daily log. Siding with the attorney who says it's unfair. Unlike traffic court, where those accused of speeding can actually question the police officer who wrote the ticket on accuracy issues. When folks go through these hearings, there's no human being there for them to question, to cross-examine about, um, you know, whether the cameras were working, what they know about when, when the cameras were tested and all that sort of thing. The city says there was an annual calibration check built in as required by state law, but we wanted to ask about daily checks and who was responsible. So to Mayor Brown. That a lawyer filed a lawsuit and the lawyer is making claims. We will respond to those claims in the legal process. This was actually a FOIA, Mr. Mayor. It was a FOIA that was filed with your administration. A, 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 you a, again, we don't respond to litigation, but thank you very much, Ron. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.